हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड वेर वील बी स्टडिंग टूडे द डिज़ाइन ऑफ बेल्ट कन्वेयर सिस्टम एज यू ऑल मस्ट बी नोइंग वॉट इज़ अ कन्वेयर इट इज़ अ मटेरियल हैंडलिंग डिवाइस यूज इन मेनी इंडस्ट्रीज एंड हैवी ड्यूटी इंडस्ट्रीज फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टिंग मटेरियल फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर वेर अदर लॉजिस्टिक्स के नॉट बी अप्लाइड सो दिस इज़ द बेसिक डायग्राम ऑफ अ बेल्ट कन्वेयर दिस इज द ड्राइविंग पुली एंड दिस इज अ ड्रीवन पुली दिस इज द बेल्ट दैट इज कैरिंग मटेरियल फ्रॉम द हॉपर सो द बेल्ट कैरीज द मटेरियल फ्रॉम द हॉपर टूवर्ड्स द ड्राइव ड्रीवन पुली एंड टेक्स इट ऑफ एट द एंड एंड देन इट कंटिन्यूज टू रन एंडलेसली और इन्फेनाइटली ओवर दीज टू पुलिस सो दिस इज अ बेसिक कन्वेयर सिस्टम एंड वी हैव टू डिजाइन सर्टन पैरामीटर्स फॉर द कन्वेयर सिस्टम लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल द न्यूमेरिकल्स इन दिस सब्जेक्ट्स आर प्रिटी ईजी एंड आर ओनली ऑफ द थ्री टाइप्स विच विल कैरी मैक्सिमम फाइव एलिमेंट्स टू बी फाउंड आउट रेगुलरली इन द सेम न्यूमेरिकल so let's start a belt conveyor with 15 degree inclination is used for transportation density is given 1500 belt width is given in mm that is 1000 mm belt speed is given 1.75 meter per second so this is a very basic numerical which will be given we have been given k that is flowability factor of the material and the speed with which the driving pulley is rotating and also the diameter of the driving pulley that is diameter will be 500 mm first thing we should consider is converting all the parameters in mm to meter because our speed is in meter per second and always we design the elements in meter per second and kg per second therefore we have to convert this 500 mm into meter which will be 500 divided by 1000 which will be giving us as 0.5 meter so we have to find out the capacity of the conveyor now what is the capacity of the conveyor it is the material carrying capacity that is the tonnage or the weight or the kilogram that can, that a belt can carry so the formula is m is equal to rho into q in the bracket 0.9 b minus 0.05 square into v so this is the derived formula and the derivation is quite long and tedious and we do not have it in our syllabus so we know that m is equal to rho into q 0.9b minus 0.05 square into v. We have to remember this formula because on this formula we can find out all the unknown parameters when we have to find out. So m is equal to 1500. That is rho. Q is given as 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 4. B is given as 1. That is in meter 0.05 square into 1.75 is the belt speed. Therefore we can calculate m is 0.47. 41 kg per second now as i told you we have to find out in kg per hour also that is the capacity therefore multiplying it if in one second it can carry 4741 in one hour it can carry so we have to cross multiply and find out the m that is 1706.76 kg per hour now next we have to find out the reduction ratio for that we have been given the belt speed and we can find out the small n that is 66.8451 rpm that is it will be the speed of the driven pulley so this was rotating at some speed and this is rotating at some other speed we have to find out the reduction so it will be gear reduction is n upon n that is capital n upon small n that is 21.5423 so this is a basic numerical in which we find out three three parameters that is capacity then we found out small n and then we found out the gear ratio so it is pretty simple let's look at the second numerical we have been given mass in 1.5 ton per, per hour so we have to cal calculate in kg per second so it will be into 1000 divided by 3600 which will give us 0.4167 kg per second l is given and h is given so our conveyor is transporting material from a point and at a certain height to a certain length so this will be the starting point of the hopper and this will be the end point we have been given h and l we have not been given the elevation or inclination as given in the previous numerical so we can find out the uh, inclination in the later part let's see what else is given we have been given rho that is 2.5 ton per meter cube as we all know rho is density that is kg per meter cube so we convert it to 1000 kg per meter cube next we have been given k1 and k2 also we have been given the starter idler that is 3 and these are the constant factors which will be provided in the numerical and these all factors are necessary to find out diameter of the driven pulley next we have been given the values of alpha in the certain ranges that is 10 to 15 16 to 20 and 21 to 25 so let's start with the numerical 
and this is the solution this will be the diagram of inclination it is not necessary it is only for understanding purpose tan alpha as we all know is opposite upon adjacent so it will be h upon l that will give us tan inverse 21 degree so now we have 21 degree to 25 that is 2.35 into 10 raised to minus 4 so we get our k or the flowability factor necessary to find out the capacity as 2.35 into 10 raised to minus 4 taking a close look at the formula m is equal to rho k 0.9 b minus 0.05 square into v we have k we have rho we have v uh, we have to find out the width and we have been provided with m that is the capacity so substituting all the values in the equation we find that b is unknown so we multiply 2.5 the rho value, k value and the v value together keeping the bracket intact and then we take this value to this side that is divide 0 0.4167 to 0 0.7343 and then square, squaring on both the side taking a square root on both the side we get b is equal to 0 0.8924 meter because we have converted all our dimensions in meter and later we can convert it to mm as per your wish so in the examination if it if the ranges are given as 800 to 900 you can round this off to 900 mm it will be considered okay so we have found out b let's see what else is to be found now as i told you we have to find out the diameter of pulley and we have been given k1 k2 and z so we can find out the diameter of the pulley directly by k1 into k2 into z which will be 480 mm so we have found out the diameter in the of the pulley which was not given initially now we have to find out the gear reduction ratio again the belt speed was given as 75 meter per minute so i converted it to uh, meter per second that is 1.25 which is equal to pi d n upon 60 diameter is found out uh, above and n is unknown so we get n and therefore the gear ratio becomes n upon n that is the bigger speed upon smaller speed which will give us 30.1593 reduction ratio so this is the second numerical in which alpha was not given we found out the alpha as well as they found out the diameter of pulley which was new in this numerical let's take a look at the next numerical now in this numerical that is the third type we have been given specific weight of the material instead of density now what to do you might be confused because specific weight is given in newton per meter cube and density is kg per meter square so what we do is we know the density is equal to specific weight upon gravity therefore we divide specific weight to the gravity we divide specific weight to the gravity and we find out rho that is 10,000 upon 9.81 which will give us kg upon meter cube. Okay, so the rest of the parameters will be same. We have been given the formula of capacity that is rho by g, sorry, nu by g into k 0.9b minus 0.05 square into v. So we have all the parameters. We have to find out the capacity. We will get it as 0.5. 3682 kg per second now to convert it to kg per hour we have to multiply by 3600 we will get it as 1325.52 kg per hour or 1 ton per hour so this is the simple numerical in which specific weight was given instead of density and we found out everything else now this is the last and the best numerical in which everything is getting covered all the five parameters to be found out generally so we have been given mass we have been given v that is the belt speed density of the material flowability factor l now we have certain new parameters that is l2 and l1 on the right side zp is given as usual that is k1 k2 zp for finding out the diameter speed is given that is of the driving pulley now we have been given two new parameters pitch of the carrying run idlers and pitch of return run idlers now in the industries the conveyors are of huge length that is they may be in kilometers or they may be in certain meters so we cannot really rely on the driving and driven pulley for the total tension in the belt therefore idlers are provided at certain distance for carrying and return runs that is to tighten the belt and to keep the material flowing smoothly so these are the carrying idlers which are on the carrying side that is which takes the material to a certain point and the return idlers are when the belt returns idle without any material to the starting point that is the return idlers and the center between them that is the distance between their center is known as pitch we term carrying idler as l2 and return idler as l1 so we have to find out the number of idlers required over a certain span of the conveyor how do we find out we can also find out all the other parameters such as capacity belt width gear reduction ratio 
diameter for, like the under, earlier numericals we, we are focusing here on finding out the number of idlers on carrying and return run so let's see number of carrying idlers we term it as zc z is the number of idlers and c is carrying side so we have the formula tc is equal to l2 upon zc plus 1 tc will be provided l2 will be provided we have to find out the z2 now tc is given as pitch of the carrying run idler that is the center distance as 1 meter l2 is given as 260 meters so we can find out zc which will be 259 now similarly for return run idler tr is equal to l1 upon zr plus 1 tr is given 2.5 l1 is given 255 zr zr can be find out so we have the number of carrying run and return run idler hope you understood this chapter do comment if you have any queries keep subscribing and sharing new videos come up every day thank you